Друзья, я вам хочу представить сейчас Питера. Питер управляющий и владелец э, бутьярда в Килифе. Hi, Питер. Morning. I just want to uh, ask you about why Kilifi and uh, why you decide to have that business because I see it is a quite big amount of boat which you are repairing. Why Kilifi? Kilifi is a perfect natural harbor. We're outside of the cyclone belt. So the cyclones never come this far north. We're three and a half degrees south of the equator. Yeah, on the equator it's normally yeah. n n so it's pretty much bad stuff. Um, it's a fabulous anchorage. It's a great place to sail. Uh, Kenya is, is, a, is a good place. We've got good places to the north, good places to the south. Um, and it's a, it's a great place to live. Yeah, but uh, it is about 30 meters depth in the harbor. Is it any problem for you? Because uh, it's not comfortable for Anchorage. It's even not possible. Well, the, the main channel is, is 30 meters. Most of our moorings are in 15 to 20 meters. Uh, and then it drops off on the far side into 30 meters of depth. So where our moorings are, it's absolutely fine. Um, the back of the creek, uh, where there is no road access, is at six meters. Yeah, but it's quite shallow. It's yeah. very shallow. But there's a huge amount of fetch across the bay. Where we are in, in, in the mouth of the creek, there's a lot less fetch wave action than in the back. So I think we're in the right place. Mm -hmm. Peter, how many boats do you repair every year? We have... We have about 100 active customers, um, but we do three or four major rebuilds a year. So at the moment we're, we're rebuilding a steel boat, we're rebu we have done a lot of panel beating on an aluminium boat, and we're putting new engines into a fiberglass boat. Those are the three major projects that we've got on at the moment. We normally do three or four of those a year, and then we have recurrent small jobs with probably 30 or 40 other yachts and, and, and fishing boats. Okay, cool. But uh, I see you have a lot of boat which is uh, just stain or uh, it is any repairs on it as well? No, we've got boats that, that where an owner has died or, or it's, it's in, he's lost interest or he wants to, to, to move on. So we have three or four boats on the hard that are staying here. We have Every boatyard I know has some, some boats that are not being paid for. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. Right? <laughs> not, you know, and, and so we, we have them. Uh, when it gets too much, we, sadly, we have to, to, to auction them. But no, we're busy in the yard. I mean, like now we've got a boat on, on, on the slipway, with, with, which is a wooden boat, uh, a Harrishoff copy. We're replacing planks in that. So we work in, in every medium aluminium, steel, fiberglass, wood. So the full range of jobs? Full range. I mean, we, we have a small crane that we can lift the masts off, service the masts, take engines out. Um, I mean, we've changed engines. In the last seven years, we've changed engines from 14 horsepower to 600. Um, oh, yeah. That's so, amazing. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we, we tackle everything. Um, and we've got a large number of subcontractors that we call in who are, who are specialists in their field as well. Oh, cool. So, uh, can you show us, please, your uh, boat yard? Yeah, we can, we can have a walk around the yard. There's not probably a lot of Russian speakers coming here. Probably I'm just first one. You're the first one in a very long time. Uh, before, before the sort of piracy started, we used to get 40, 35 to 42 boats a year on average. Um, after the piracy started, it, it started slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, until one year we had none and that nice. and very bad for business it was the perfect time to, to, to get involved in the boatyard it was cheaper uh, but now now we're on the on on the up I mean this year we've got six or seven boats that are coming in from from overseas and we have more boats that are coming up and down the coast people are sailing up from from Tanzania uh, if you go to it's good places for sailing it's yeah very beautiful yes it is it's fairly seasonal because the, the south monsoon is very strong And the current offshore is can go up to three and a half knots. Uh, sometimes it could be even five. Yeah. Вот ярд, то как это выглядит на воде и яхт клуб. Как мы стоим, я уже показывал. И вот все лодки, которые стоят на буях, на муринге. Продолжаем экскурсию по бот ярду. Я уже раньше это показывал, но покажу еще. Это ресторан. Возле ресторана есть туалеты душевая. 
Далее есть стенд, который вынимает лодки на берег. Вот от него мотор. Это главный офис. Магазинчик. Okay, let's see what we're working on in the yard at the moment. We've got this wooden boat here uh, replacing some some timber planks and doing some caulking, uh, respray, and not a respray but a, a surface paint and and scraping and varnish. Uh, So, yeah, that boat will be on the slip, has been on the slipway for about a week. Um, and by the time we fi we'll fin should finish it on Monday, I think. What is here? Uh, in here we've got our outboard engine workshop um, and battery charging facility, where mostly we're, we're repairing tender, tender outboards. The, the bigger engines, We, we send up to Yamaha themselves. And then we've got various, various stores to our left. Engine store, bonded store, timber store. Um, and then a welding workshop uh, where we, we work in stainless, aluminium, uh, mild steel. We, we do TIG, MIG, Pulse MIG, um, Pulse on Pulse TIG for aluminium. This uh, fishing boat is a boat that we built from a kit. It's built in marine grade aluminium. We bought the, the aluminium overseas with mill spec aluminium. It was, cool, eh? it was pre-cut and arrived as a flat pack boat. Uh, and then we built a here in situ um, on As a, as a custom build for a, for a, a guy who wants an open uh, sport fishing boat. Then... Is it some complicated task boat? <laughs> no, I don't think it's, it's complicated. It's, it's basic engineering skills coupled with, with use, using the, 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 the proper specifications. This steel boat uh, is, a, is a Roberts, Bruce Roberts design. And we're doing a hundred percent rebuild on here, uh, replating new interior, um, rebuild the engines, uh, new rigging, um, new, and new sailing instruments, new fridges. And then Jamala is 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 a boat that was brought in here, and the owner is is actually working on her himself. And here is the owner. <laughs> one owner for Jamala. <laughs> um, one desperate owner for Jamala. Uh, but now, now the timber is dried out, he soon can start work on patching her back up again. This um, metal boat on the right uh, was built in, on a sugar plantation in, in Madagascar, uh, trucked in to down to the sea from the middle of Madagascar Island and is here while the owner is in, is in England and we'll put her back in the water in about six, seven weeks time having had a, a small replating job. This, this boat to our right... No keel. No keel. It has, it, it has a, a lifting keel, French design. A oh, uh, lifting keel? Yeah. It's like a swell boat. Yeah. Uh, it, she's a beautiful little boat. Um, We we did a rebuild on this boat about six years ago uh, and the owner took her away and unfortunately parked her on top of the groin in, in, in Magahinga in, in Madagascar. Badly damaged the hull. Um, she, was, she came back here for panel beating and yeah, you can see where we've, we've put in patches in the hull and... and, and this like a steel or what is it? This is an aluminium boat. Aluminium. It's, oh, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's 5086, um, 5083 aluminium. Oh, okay. Uh, and the mast is off waiting for the, the new rigging to arrive. We put new rigging on and then the owner is going to take a sailing again. The lift keel, very, very popular 
French design. And the the keel the keel retracts up in 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 and it, when the keel is down she she points very very nicely. I've I've sailed this boat back from from Tanga uh, a few years ago. She's she's a lovely boat to sail. This is is we're we're making a new uh, raft that we use for lifting and dropping our moorings. We check our moorings annually. And oh, that's, that's cool. So completely new framework for for it, um, new timber, and then we'll put uh, eight of these 200 liter drums underneath. Ah, like we, that, like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have 1.6 tons of of possible flotation, and with our guys on, we li we lift the, the the blocks, float them out, drag them out, put them down, pick them up, and bring them back in. And then, so here is the mast works. Here is 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 masts that have been stripped. Um, the all the blocks have been checked. They we find an awful lot of the the pulley sheaves in the mast need need sheave, um, need new bushes. So we we replace them with the bronze bushing in 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 them, um, and then we put in new cables, new rigging. Restep the mast. Okay. Uh, this is a boat that's just here for for storage. Say, Frenchman came in earlier in the year, has gone to Europe for a few months. What he is that, Benito? It's no? Benito. Benito. Benito 36. Um, steel boat, again in in process of of rebuild, um, replating. Um, and, and, and a new interior. And then here, here is a boat that, that we are totally rebuilding. Again, this is getting a, a complete new engine uh, package. A new beta, uh, 35 horsepower with a sail drive. Totally new, new interior, new floors. We've stripped out all the linings, ch checked all the reinforcement structure in the, on, on the, the deck put in a couple of ribs um, and again new rigging new paint this is this is about a moody uh, 35 um, that is for sale here uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, that no that is made by by Tai Xing in in Taiwan uh, a 40 foot catch she's for sale um, steel boat again in 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 process of of rebuild. As, as as I mentioned earlier, we've got three big projects on 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 the go in the yard at the moment, and this is one of them. A wooden fishing boat that I made is for. It, is it wood? It looks like steel. Huh? No, this is a wooden boat. This is a boat that that we made for a customer four years ago. But uh, it looks like a steel one. Yeah, but. Is it blue? Marine ply uh, and and, and uh, West system, West uh -huh. system built. Um, Charlie boy is 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 getting ready to be put in the water for for this forthcoming season. We I think we put her in in in, in October. Uh -huh. What is that one? This is a Lavranos 34. Angelo Lavranos, a South African uh, architect. He now now operates out of of New Zealand. Uh, we get a lot of his boats up here because. Of, Having come from South Africa, oh, okay. And they're 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 always impressively solidly built. Um, so it's strong. Very strong. Very strong. Might you, you know? What is, what is, it is a fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yeah, but it's quite. Uh, but yeah. it's very thick. <laughs> it's like maybe like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, here we have have a, a a load of storage for for various customers that come in and and we're working on their boats, so. As as we strip all the goods off them, we store them on in on site. We don't have to worry about theft or anything else. You but, know, uh, I see in the boat yard is very safe. I think so. We are uh, the total the total losses that we've we've lost in the last uh, six years is one solar panel and one pair of Adidas training shoes. <laughs> <laughs>
and the back of the yard is 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 speedboat storage for for customers that live up country and trailer storage and and then you're back into wild africa there's behind us there's there's two and a half kilometers of beautiful forest with monkeys and and vervet vervet monkeys and uh, genet cat and special really smart looking guinea fowl yeah but that is a very beautiful place i invite you to come to kilifi because it is a really good place and uh, for uh, repairs and uh, just to be here for travel in the middle of africa yeah you can leave your boat here and while, while she's here we'll look after it you can then travel in africa uh, we've got one one couple that are going to leave their boat here for the next 10 months they're buying a car here we've facilitated that get a car made a passage and then they're going to travel over africa while we look after their boat for, for eight ten months so from here they're going to go down into the middle of africa into tanzania zambia zimbabwe and maybe down to botswana all the country are safe i know yes not in the, all the places in that but in, uh, generally in rural area is it quite safe the rural areas are, are, are much much safer than than, than in being the urban, in, yeah. yeah than the urban areas and I mean, I tra I've traveled all over Africa. I've worked all over Africa. Uh, in but my where in are you from? You're from. Uh, I'm from Botswana. Botswana. Yeah. So nice, nice place. I never been in. Uh, it's it's Africa for beginners. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> really. For beginners. No, <laughs> because, cool. because because it works. <laughs> you know, it's a nice, sensible, safe, law-abiding place. You can drink the water. The roads are good. Um, the people are friendly, and there's there's very few people. No violence. No violence. Oh, that's no, cool. No, it's a really lovely place. But then there's no sea, so... Uh, yeah, no way to come. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's not possible to come by boat. No. Я хочу вам сказать, что здесь действительно место очень классное для яхтинга, поэтому э, Африка прекрасна. И я очень рекомендую вам приезжать сюда, потому что здесь удобное место как для стоянки, чтобы поехать э, по всей Кении, так и просто отремонтироваться на берегах Африки.